Gesamtsituation. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Yes, we see. The one who follows me will not walk in darkness. But have the light of life. Okay. On this third Sunday of Advent, we light three candles as a sign of the coming light of Christ. Um, we are so glad that you've joined us this morning. 
turaneze cyane yuko abanye natwe ubashe kuba natwe mu kino gitondo and we hope that Jesus our Lord light in our salvation kae turizera ko Yesu ari umwami numucho wagakiza kacu can uh, open your heart this morning to the message and uh, songs that we'll be hearing. Let's open with prayer. Oh God, Lord Jesus. Oh Mana Mami Yesu. Walk with us now in your light. God, you are our hope and love, joy and peace. As those who work long night hours long for the sunrise. We with expectant hearts long to be with you now, God. In our worship today, we ask to catch a glimpse of your glory. Trusting in your promise that one day we will see in full. When all will be made whole and new. It is in your heavenly name we pray. Amen. Amen. Jesus, 
yo angore ye imiri moya we mwami ihora inanga za yesu 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 ndakuhimaza Ashawara kudu terera na Oya oya Ashawara kudu kura wa mawoka Oya oya Ashawara kudu sozi jamorje Oya oya Niyo mamvu tuzigumira muri we Niyo mamvu tuzigumira muri we Niyo mamvu tuzigumira muri we Niyo mamvu Hallelujah. Come and dance to Lolo. 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 Tambira Jehova Tambira Jehova Tambira Jehova Tambira Jehova Tambira Jehova Tambira Jehova Oh Tambira Jehova Tambira Tambira Jehova Tambira Jehova Ah Tambira Jehova Tambira Jehova Tambira Jehova Lelele 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 Tambira Jehova Lelele lelele Amina, Amina, oh Amina, who sees you at Jehovah? Amina, Amina, oh Amina, who sees you at Jehovah? Amina, Amina, oh Amina, who sees you at Jehovah? Amina, Amina, oh Amina, who sees you at Jehovah? Amina, Amina, oh Amina, who sees you at Jehovah? Amina, Amina, oh Amina, who sees you at Jehovah? Amina, Amina, oh Amina, who sees you at Jehovah?
Amen. Hallelujah. If you guys couldn't tell, it's Music Sunday, and so I'm just so thankful for our choir this morning. And for our media crew who uh, worked diligently to put, put on such wonderful music. We have a few announcements this morning. The first one is to uh, connect. Uh, welcome to Northminster Church. We are glad that you are here with us this morning, however um, and wherever you are. And we encourage you to fill out uh, the online welcome card that should be linked in your chat. Christmas Eve services are going to look a little bit different. And so to enhance those worship services this coming Saturday, December 19th, uh, from 10 to 2, we're giving away 500 Christmas Eve kits. Uh, it's a drive through pickup to maintain as much safety as possible. Um, so make sure that you are entering in through the, the parking lot on Fort Lowell and Tucson. To pick up your kit for uh, the Christmas Eve services. Speaking of Christmas Eve services, we have two opportunities to gather. One at five and one at seven with in-person limited capacity. So make sure that you uh, get registered for that if you would like to be in person, otherwise you can uh, be streaming it. We have lots of opportunities to uh, grow in classes, so be checking your bulletin for that. And then our Advent Gift of the Heart continues each Sunday through December. We only have a couple more Sundays left, so be sure to mark your offering for that. And we also have our Angel Tree Project as well. If you uh, made one of those bags, those are due in the office tomorrow. We thank you for your generosity and uh, just thoughtfulness, especially in this time of such need. 
kandi turashimira cyane kwitanga kwanyu n'urukundo rwanyu na cyane cyane n'ibi bitoroshe akoze it is time for our children's message and i've got a special message for you on pastor ken nero bana trabaye kaze ndafise message yanyu ni ni pastor ken and a couple we've got our advent turafise turafise advent nga and a couple weeks ago uh pete showed us these cool glasses nero mu ndwizibizi heze pete yarekanye amarori meza cyane and then last week pastor andy had a big reflector kandi mu ndwiheze naho pastor andy yarekanye cyakintu gitanga umuco and uh, this week we've got something else in here i'm going to open it up no musi dufise kindi kintu ngomba ko cugurura ndabereke and it is a lantern the light dero ngaha murabona yuko ari itara ikuwe igeza cyane murabona ko ari igeza cyane yeah and you know boys and girls uh, back when jesus was alive they didn't have electricity and they didn't even have batteries and so how would you know that somebody was home well they would have something like this like a lantern and they would hang it outside on their porch and that would tell people that they were welcome and that's what Jesus wants us to be he wants us to be like this lantern to welcome people kugira ngo duhe kaze abantu to believe in Jesus kugira ngo bizere Yesu Kristo so boys and girls rero bana i hope you can shine your porch light ndavugomba yuko mwatsa itara y'imbere y'umujyango yanyu so others will be welcomed by god kugira ngo abantu ari bazobe bumve ko bahawe kaze na imana all right Amen. just remember that this week ndagomba ko mwoko amwe mwibuka kino muri ino ndwi yose be a porch light for Jesus. Kugira ngo mube itara y'imbere y'umujyango rya Yesu Kristo. Amen. Amen. Dukomeze n'uyu mwanya tugiye gusenga dusengera umurimo w'Imana. Okay. And it's a dusabire namashikanwa tugiye gutanga ari hano cyangwa se abayatanga online. Let's uh, pray together. This, uh, this is the moment for prayer. Uh, we're gonna pray for the this service for, and we're gonna pray for um, offering. Somebody can give uh, offering here or online. Anywhere you can give. Let's pray together. That I'm using at Yes. To go shimi emnami yes umanya muiza to go shimi emgurdu komeza kuturinda no kudufasha. Dushimi imbaraga zawe no muntu bwawe ubuntu bwawe no gushobozi bwawe uri umwami w'amahoro uri imana ikomeye kandi imana nkawe tugushize mwami imbere ibikorwa byose ah uh, service ndetse n'izindi service zose ah uh, ishengero rya umwami ukomeza turinde ndetse ah uh, bayobozi bose ndetse nabakora muri mu wabose aba members bose bakora muri mu wawe dusaba muri mu wose mwami murimo wawe kwisi yose kugira ngo ukomeze ufashe ubushoboze kugira ngo murimo wawe ukomeze utere imbere ndetse mu mwami Yesu nabarambura ukuboko kwabo bagutangira kugira ngo ayo mashikanwa yose mwami yuba ku murimo wawe kubwicu bahiro cyawe mu izina rya Yesu tubisenze amen You are faithful 
Thank you very much to our Arise Choir. Beautiful music. And we had some uh, wonderful singing uh, from our uh, newborn baby here. <laughs> Diodone and Miriam, wonderful. Little girl, right? What is her name? Kiara. Kiara. Yeah. It's wonderful to have her here. We are continuing in our Advent series. Lighting up the dark. And we've been using the first chapter of the Gospel of John. And John describes God's presence in the world and he uses the ideas of light and darkness. The first Sunday of Advent, Pastor Pete left us with this wonderful truth the greater the darkness, the brighter Jesus' light 
shines. Niko umucho udasangwe wa Yesu urasa. Last week, Mondwihedze, Pastor Andy, uh, Pastor Andy used the moon to remind us that the moon reflects the light of the sun. And we looked at John the Baptist. How, how he reflects the light of God with the coming of Jesus. And now we are to reflect the light of Jesus to others. Today, our gospel writer reveals to us this light and what happens when the light actually arrives. But before I get to our passage, I thought I'd share a few jokes about Christmas. And my friend Benjamin here, he told me they are very funny. Very, very funny. I asked him, I said, these are like American jokes. And so I hope the Arise community, they will understand them. And they will laugh. And Benjamin said, they will laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> so here we go. And we're going to project them. First one. Why do ornaments become addicted to Christmas? Because they've been hooked on trees from a very young age. They've been hooked. They've been hooked so they get addicted. See, that's, very, that's very funny. <laughs> Next one. How much did Santa pay for his sleigh? Nothing. Nothing. It, it was on the house. His sleigh comes on the house. Yes, Miriam's baby is laughing hilariously right now. So funny. Okay, for all of you who have Apple products, what do you get when you mix a Christmas tree with an iPad? Answer. A pineapple. See, an apple and a pine tree. You put those together, you get a pineapple. Kaylee is shaking her head. <laughs> she can't believe how funny I am. <laughs> okay. What's every parent's favorite Christmas carol? This is a good silent night. Silent night. Right? Because your kids are up and they're making noise when they should be silent. See, it's a good one, right? Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> Only one more. Okay. <laughs> Alex has already left the sanctuary. I, don't, I can't even find where he is. He's, he's just gone. He's going to another church. Uh, okay. <laughs> What do reindeer have that no other animals have? Answer. Baby reindeer. You see, you can't, 
His reindeers can only have other reindeers. There you go. Alex is back. He was laughing so hard he had to leave. Okay. <laughs> We're going to get to our scripture passage. It's John 1, John 1 verses 10 to 13. He was in the world. And though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but he did not, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. So we have uh, three ideas or themes that I want us to briefly look at. The first one is the nature of humanity. The second one is the nature of God's grace. And the third one is the nature of salvation. And John has these in our passage. First, the nature of humanity. You know, there is a um, Christmas time is a very celebrative time. We have all kinds of Christmas specials. We have uh, special Christmas TV shows. And we have nativity scenes. And candy canes. And we sing joyous music. Joy to the world. Peace to all people. We have a Christmas tree and ornaments. And people are in a very giving mood. And we should celebrate that. Christmas is a joyous time of year. To praise God for sending his son. But there is another side to the Christmas story. Matthew has this in his gospel. And Luke has it in his gospel. And so does John in his gospel. And it is a part of us that we, that we would rather skip over or maybe even deny. And it has to do with our nature. John says, that human nature is not standing on the sidelines cheering that the light is coming into our world. You see, for John, he has this understanding of humankind that there is a crisis that God sent his light into our world but did men and women welcome it? Did men and women welcome the light? John says no. 
just the opposite. He says they ran from the light. And they run toward darkness. And they do this because they have no interest in pleasing God. Only in doing whatever they want. That is our nature. <laughs> because of our sin. We do not run toward Jesus. Our natural ways to run away from him. John's view of humanity, humanity it's not really what we want to hear. Especially this time of Christmas. The world is not a neutral place. Uh, the world, according to John, is against God's light breaking in. Uh, Yet, even though we do not want the light, how does God respond? Is God angry? Is he vengeful? Is he vindictive? No. That comes to our second idea. The nature of God's grace. And we find the nature of God's grace in this wonderful verse. John 3.16 For God so loved the world and I put this next part in the yeah. same world that opposes or runs away that, that sets itself against God, what does God do? He gives His only Son that whosoever believes in Him will inherit eternal life. We find it here in our passage in verse 12. Not only does our legal status change before God, our relational status changes. What does John say? God gives us the right to become his child. To become children of God. Let me ask you, when is the last time you thought about what it means for you to be a son or a daughter of God. Most of the time, we think about God and He took away our sins. He paid the debt. Our sins are forgiven. And those things are all true. And we should give thanks to God for them. But I call that head faith. Here in John, he gives us the idea of heart faith. Think about how we as parents love our children and how our parents have loved us. 
that is very different than what we do for our children. <laughs> and that is very different how God treats us as his children. He holds nothing back. When we fall, when we fail, when we hurt, what does God do? The same that any loving parent would do. He comes to us and he picks us up and he hugs us and he says, I love you because you are my child. The third idea is the nature of salvation. We've had the nature of humanity, the nature of God's grace, and now the nature of salvation. And in our passage today, John understands salvation by, by adding these two statements. These two truths to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, plus children born not of natural descent, nor of human's decision or a husband's will but born of God. This is John's theology. This is, this is what it means to be saved. This is what it means to be born again. And so it can be summed up in one statement. It is deliberate faith in response to divine transformation. We have to receive him. We have to believe in him. That is what it means to be deliberate. That is our part. But we believe and we receive why? Because of our family? Because we are smart? Or oh, because we are spiritual? Because we were born that way? John says no. Because we're born of God. We believe and receive. Because God has changed our heart. God has transformed us. Our visual aid this morning is this light or a porch light. In the Gospel of Matthew, remember God sent his porch light to the wise men. <laughs> he sent a star to guide them to Jesus. In Luke, God sends his porch light to the shepherds through angels. A great light shone. And it got their attention. When do we put a porch light on? When we invite someone to our home. Or when we know someone is coming over at night. And we turn the light on. 
to say you are welcome. To say we are expecting you. To say you are welcome in our home. And that's what God does with Jesus. He says you are welcome. I've been waiting for you. I've invited you. Won't you come into my home? Won't you become one of my children? For those of us who know this light, how can we be shining that light? So that others will know that God welcomes them. And maybe there are some who are listening right now or who are watching and you have sensed that God has his porch light out for you. And is wanting to welcome you as his child. You can do that right now. We call it the ABCs of faith. A, admit that you have been one of those who've been running away from the light. The Bible calls that sin. And we need to admit that. But then B, believe in the light. Believe in Jesus, whom God has sent to bring you from the darkness into the light, the light of his love and forgiveness. And then see, commit to being part of a community of faith. A church. What is a church? A church is just people like us here who have found the light. We are not perfect. <laughs> we make lots of mistakes. In fact, once we walked in darkness, but then God shone his light into us. And we receive that light. And we are now children of God. And you can be a part of that family when you receive the light of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for Jesus who is the light of the world but who wants to be our light. May we, may we receive him and believe in him so we too can be children of God. Amen. Amen.
Jehovah is his name, Yehovah. as well as Prince of Peace. Yehovah. Wonderful counselor. Amen. Light of the world. Amen. And he has saved us. He has worked his light into our lives. And now he calls us to shine that light. Wherever we are, whoever we meet, so that people can know the light in their lives. May God bless you and keep you. May His grace shine upon you. May His light shine through you. So others will know the light of the world. Amen. Amen.